So Deep Blue Sea for me is a quality shark movie. The main reason being, obviously, Samuel Jackson gets absolutely massacred. We're gonna find a way to get out of here. First, we're gonna seal off this. Well, not the only reason, it might be also because this takes uh, shark movies to a different type of world because shark movies normally are about mindless eating, killing machine sharks. Whereas this one is the complete, well, not complete opposite, but sort of goes in a different direction as this shows how they're studying on sharks, researching sharks to find the cure for Alzheimer's and then somehow in doing that and coming up with a cure for Alzheimer's using Mako sharks, they somehow turn them into mindless killing machines. So they, they basically explain through their research and their and their stupid scientific experiments on these macro sharks, they turn them into killing machines. So there is an explanation to how they become mindless killing machines. So in a way, it makes itself kind of different, but kind of the same as what we've seen before. Problem is with this film, is something that's prom with every shark movie. You're always going to be compared to Jaws. No matter what you are, whether you're the Mega or you whether fucking Sharknado 200, you know, there is always something there that is going to link to Jaws because Jaws is one of the greatest movies of all time. Never mind shark movies of all time. So if you're in that shark ballpark and you're not as good as Jaws, which is every single movie that is not named Jaws, you are always going to get criticised for like, why should I watch this film? Because Jaws is like the, the GOAT and like the best movie of all time. So if you're, comp you're making a shark movie, you may as well just not fucking bother because you're always going to get compared to that. But what I would say that he's going for this film is the actual shark incidents, dramas, fucking love it. I absolutely love it. I think they get it down to a T because certain shark movies just don't get that connection of suspense thrillingness and managed to build up everything to like the killings and i think that they, they got really creative in the deaths of certain uh, people and the way that these sharks attack and things like that and then the, and the way that the first incident happens is fucking mental and great at the same time as it's great to see how these idiots end up getting picked off one by one Another thing that I absolutely adored about this film is the way that the sharks looked. Because now watching through several shark movies since Jaws and The Meg and things like that, there's something about this particular one where I like what they did with the sharks. Because not only are the macro sharks, they also look fucking real. They don't look computer generated. If they are computer generated, they don't look as computer generated as this. <laughs> That was taken from Jaws 3D, and I think that is the worst looking shark that I've ever seen. I felt that while the shark stuff in the movie was really, really well put together and really, really good in the movie, the actual human side of things, the character development was shockingly shit. Apart from McAllister, who was the one who created the Mako shark cure for... Uh, people with Alzheimer's and that was brilliant of her doing the research and getting the cure but she knew what she was doing in creating the cure for Alzheimer's she would also create massive killing machine macos that could end up wiping out most of the people in the seas and most of the animals in the seas because now they have such a bigger IQ and such a bigger brain in which is stupid on her part but that was good character development as for the rest of the crew apart from Russell who gets munched by a shark that is the only memorable bit, and let's fuck that. Let's play it again. You know what I mean? Because we all need a good laugh right now. We're gonna find a way to get out of here. First, we're gonna seal off this. Ha! <laughs> Love that. And and to me, other than that, I don't believe there's anything else for the movie to hang on in terms of character development. The rest of it just isn't on that particular level or on a particular level where you go oh i remember that character because they they did this in the film or whatever there was none of that i think only McAllister really had great character development and russell had his death and then that was it the other big gripe that i have about this film is the fact that they rushed like the first 30 minutes and i love the first 30 minutes because he's building up that suspense and thrill when are the sharks going to turn we know with shark movies they're not going to make it a nice interestingly unhorrific 
movie about sharks because we want to see sharks absolute munch the shit out of humans i don't know why there's an, uh, an affliction with seeing humans getting munched by sharks but this seems to be a massive thing because the amount of films we've actually seen come out about sharks munching humans but there seems to be a big affiliation for that and we knew it was going to come to that near the end of the film so what i would have done is to drag that out for maybe an hour because if you watch jaws i believe the first hour they're just killings that are happening to humans and the suspense of them finally going out to sea. And I think on the hour mark, that's then when they finally drift out to sea and to go and catch the shark. The movie's split into two halves, and I think that's what they should have done here. Split the movie into two halves, one half of them doing the experiments on the sharks and finding out the cure for Alzheimer's and finally getting there. And then the last hour being all shark drama, killings and the rest of it. Build that suspense up. The ending of Deep Blue Sea could have been 10 times better in my opinion though. I think it was predictable and I don't mind shark movie endings being predictable. You can see it coming a mile off in Jaws and you can see certain endings of shark movies. They're never big spectacle, big movie moments apart from that of Jaws. But I think that this ending was predictable because you knew they were going to kill off the sharks to stop them entering into the sea because if that happened it's like world massacre uh but i think the idea that they put in of just trying to blow it up or something whatever they did was just sort of like oh that felt very underwhelming and we didn't really get the big showdown that we probably deserved as fans for watching to the end of the film but that's just my opinion anyways let us know your thoughts down in the comments down below before we jump back into this video guys please do us a massive favor and smash that subscribe button because you do not want to miss a thing this week next week and the week after because we've got tons and tons of content planned for you guys and you can do us a massive favor by smashing that subscribe button joining the community getting updates to all the latest videos from the youtube shorts to the actual videos it is well worth it completely free and you will not regret it so to summarize this movie then for me this is either seven out of ten and a great film let us know down in the comments down below is it a good film bad film what are your opinions on this film let us know all that jazz down in the comments down below alongside your ratings and if you're thinking i fancy some more shark movie analysis check out our meg movie review right now to check out where it stands up against some of the greatest shark movies of all time and if you're like i'm all sharked out mate have you got all else of course i do stir of echoes check that out right now one of the great thriller slash suspense slash weird fucking wacky movies that you're ever gonna see you don't want to miss that one